Hi guys, it's Monday, November 29th, and it was 73 degrees outside today. 73 on the 29th of November. Anyway, I am home from work. I just ate a delicious sub, and I am getting ready to go upstairs and record the first episode of A Christmas Carol, because of course... Me being me, I meant to do it last month, and then it didn't happen. So, I'm going to go do that. I have to record numbers for Bedtime Stories with Celestia Crane, because I've been tracking those. And, yeah, that's kind of the rest of my evening. I decided once I'm all done recording, I'm going to treat myself to a white Russian, though. A little bit of motivation, right? All right. Well, I hope you all have a lovely evening and are looking forward to listening to A Christmas Carol narrated by moi this Christmas season. Have a good night, guys. Well, hello. It is Monday and it is one o'clock in the afternoon and I, for once, am wide awake. Four days off was a good thing. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I needed the time off until you know, like basically this morning, I was like, oh wow, nothing hurts right now, that's nice. And got up and got to spend some time with Celosia before she went to work, and now I'm about to get ready to go to work. That's the one thing. I do like my job, and I do, you know, appreciate the money coming in. That's a huge deal. And it outweighs any complaints I'm currently having. But the one thing is I don't have a whole lot of time to dedicate just to writing and recording and getting new stories out. So that's kind of the struggle I'm having right now is finding time to do that stuff. That's important to me. And what's funny is when I wasn't working, I wasted a lot of time. Isn't that always how it goes? So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm taking every opportunity I have. I'm using time when I am on break. I'm using my time before work. My time after work is taken up with sleep, so I can't really use that to write. But I'm trying to make the most of the time I have because I've gotten a really good response to the work I've been doing and I want to put out more. And the only way I can do it is to write it and record it and get it out there. So that's kind of what I'm trying to get going is that rhythm of doing it every day and I know once I have everything plotted and all that stuff it'll be pretty much well it'll be easier because I'm a plotter I like to have the story set out before I put pen to paper and actually write right so that's what I'm working on figuring out that that rhythm and I don't know if you can hear it, but somebody's running a leaf blower or a weed whacker or something out there. And it's kind of annoying. So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm going to have to get ready for work in a minute here. And I'm going to try and get some writing done tonight. I want to, if I can, get Spaceman fully plotted. If I can get it fully plotted, I'm in a good place. Because then I can plot the other stories and... I've already got a couple of them kind of skeletons, but I want to fill them out more so that when I go to do the writing, there's not a whole lot of questions. I can just focus on the making it the best story it can be and making it as pretty as possible. So, yeah, that's kind of how I work. So, yeah, I'm hoping to get Spaceman, at least the skeleton plot, completely done tonight while I'm at work. And... Yeah, it's going to be my day. Go to work, do work, write when I can, and just go from there. So, that's going to be all from me for today. Did I mention it's Monday? And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Good morning. It is Tuesday. And it's like 7.45-ish. And I decided, instead of just sitting on my phone this morning, I keep looking at the wrong spot. Instead of just 
sitting on my phone this morning aimlessly scrolling through Instagram like I usually do, I'm going to set up my Christmas tree because I didn't get it done last night and I really want to get it up. So that is what I'm going to be doing. So here we go. Here's the box. And I will be back once it's set up. And there we go. I still have to go in and fluff it. Um, I had to get the star on top. And we have to get my bin of Christmas decorations out of the closet before I can decorate it because that's where all my ornaments are. But it is up. Today is Tuesday. It is noon o'clock. And I am making all new frames for the Punks in the Library live stream podcast. So, you'll actually see the frames before you see this video, which is kind of interesting to me. And, you know, it makes me think about branding and identity and what all that means. And, you know, we kind of struggle with that a little bit sometimes because Solosi and I have very different personalities in a lot of ways. So, finding something that kind of represents both of us where one personality doesn't overpower the other is an interesting thing. And I think it's a thing that a lot of writers struggle with, a lot of creators struggle with, is what is my public face? You know, how do I keep some things private and some things public? And our situation, while not unique, is kind of interesting because we're a couple. It's not just one person creating, it's not just one person running all of this, it's the both of us as a team. And <clears throat> who are we in private, and who are we when we're on a live, when we're doing a video, when we're doing this vlog. And what we both came to realize is the best way for us to kind of get there is to just be ourselves really who we are is our brand who we are is punks in the library you know we do it because we want to share our views and people apparently want to hear them we want to share who we are and be who we are and I think honestly at least for us that is the best way to escape that whole who am I really am I this person on camera or am I this person that I am in private is to realize you're kind of both if you're not putting on an act in either one you know my when I'm working on stuff like this when I don't have the camera on me I am not this talkative but I'm talking to you guys right now so I'm being more talkative and when I am on camera, I'm louder. I'm more outgoing, just like I would be at a social occasion. Social occasion, how old am I? What century was I born in? You know, when I'm out in the world doing things out in the world, I am more gregarious. When I'm at home and it's quiet time, I'm quieter. That's all it is to me. You know, there's no act. And I, I found over my years of being on the internet and being in the, I hate to say in the public eye because it makes me sound like I'm famous and I'm not, but putting myself out there that the best thing I can do is just be myself. And I think we'd have a lot less problems with creators having so much trouble in their lives and so much kind of issues with their public persona if we didn't make it such a big deal to have a public persona. Just be yourself, you know? And interesting that doing new frames for a live stream, OBS stuff, made me think about that but you know it's something that we all have to consider when we put ourselves out there 
whether it's on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or wherever, we have to think about, you know, not only how do I want to be perceived, but is what I'm putting out there honestly me? And if it's not, I think you're going to run into trouble. I really do. So I'm going to go back to making frames and then I'm going to go to work <sighs> and hopefully get some writing done tonight too. So yeah, that's going to be all for me from today. And I got a little deep on this one. <laughs> Not my normal Tuesday fair, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, it is Wednesday night and I am home from work. I am working on cleaning up our dining room table so that we can stream this Friday's episode of Punks in the Library from our dining room. So that's kind of what I'm up to tonight. Uh, in more exciting news, I got more cray paper today. I... I want to make flowers. I want to make so many flowers. It's going to drive Nick nuts. We're not getting married till next September, probably. Hence the gorgeous jewel tones. And I am first learning how to make roses. So I've got these all basically the blanks cut out and then I have to cut out the actual petal shape. And then I have like three different colors ready to go in here. And yeah, that's been my fun rabbit hole this last year. Um, other than that, uh, working on just scheduling marketing. It's taken me a while because I've, I planned way too much probably for my own personal account and then adding the lantern account on top of that as well, pushing both Patreons. Um, yeah. <laughs> It would be really, really great if you guys would support us so that uh, we didn't have to work for other people. <laughs> so that we'd have time to make you guys all this super great content. Um, anyway, that's that's what I've been working on. I really need to get moving on my short story, The Wishing Tree, because I'm supposed to be recording that for my uh, New Year's Eve episode. And I have like 3,000 words written, maybe, and it needs to be rewritten. So, I got a lot to do. The first episode of A Christmas Carol comes out Sunday the 5th, and it will come out Sunday the 5th, Sunday the, I think it's the 9th? No, that does that math doesn't work out. Um, anyway, the first three Sundays in December, and then because A Christmas Carol is broken down into five staves, and there are only four Sundays in December... Um, the last two staves I'm actually going to be releasing on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day so that you can wrap up the story with Scrooge on Christmas Day. So that's my plan for that. And then uh, I won't have an episode that Sunday because Christmas Eve is a Friday, Christmas Day is a Saturday. And then the following week, it will be New Year's Eve will be the episode. So... Things are going to get a bit wonky, but it's all going to be fun, and we're going to have some good content. All right, and that's what's important, right? Anyway, that's all I got right now. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Have a good night. Well, it is Wednesday. I don't really have a whole lot to say today. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I finished the new frame for Punks in the Library. New episode is we're doing a new live this coming Friday. So I wanted to get that frame done with plenty of time to work on it if I need to. And so Osia agreed. She liked it. So that's that. I need to start getting ready for work in a little bit. Yeah, it's not a whole lot to say. I'm kind of hungry. I don't know. Is that an important thing? <sighs> I went into a whole spiel about not having time to write and stuff, and it is still bothering me, if I'm being honest. 
But I'm not going to go into a whole spiel about it again because I'm just going to be repeating myself. It's not really worth it. I just need to buckle down and find time to write and, you know, they say that if you truly care, you find time. So I'm working on finding time at this point because, you know, that whole 24 hours in a day thing <laughs> kind of gets to me. So, yeah, been having a little bit of a headache the past couple of days. I think that's the weather changing on me. But, yeah, my plan is to get some food in me and get ready for work and then go to work and hopefully find a little bit of time to write while I'm there. That's the goal. See if I can actually make that happen. I don't have a whole lot more to say. Like I said, you know, I'm really happy I finished that frame and I'm really glad it came out as well as it did. I'm actually pretty proud of it. So, yeah, I'm going to go do my thing. By the way, that weird water running sound you're hearing is our fish tank. There are currently no fish in our fish tank. But um, the water level keeps dropping because it doesn't have a top on it. And we have a problem out here in Colorado with evaporation. So, working on that, getting all that figured out, and going to get a top for the fish tank, basically. And yeah, like I said, I don't have a whole lot to say, so I'm kind of rambling at this point. Oh, it's time to get some food and get ready for work. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi! It's Thursday night. And honestly, I'm getting ready to go to bed. And yeah, because I forgot to do this earlier. Whoops. I don't know. Some days, some days I feel like I say the same thing. I worked on marketing stuff again today while the baby was sleeping. Baby's not been sleeping super great lately. So I haven't had as much time to work on stuff. I haven't gotten any new writing done. I do have a new podcast episode coming out this Sunday, but by the time you guys see this, it'll have been out for like a week. But yeah, the second for you guys, excuse me, drinking Topo Chico and it makes me very gassy because it's very carbonated. Anyway, when you guys watch this, it will be the day that I think the second episode of A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens comes out. I'm not sure anymore. Anyway, the first stave comes out the 5th, and then the following Sunday, whose date I don't remember what it is, comes out the following week, etc. That's pretty much all I've got going on. Uh, I was finishing cleaning up our dining room table tonight so that we can record our live stream of Punks in the Library on it tomorrow night. Um, yeah. I made crepe paper roses for the first time, like classic tea roses, like the roses everybody thinks of. That was exciting. I made two of them. I've got a bunch more paper to make more, but... That was about all I got in me tonight. So that's what I did. That was today. I will see you guys again tomorrow. And tomorrow is the second live stream episode of Punks in the Library. Yay! I don't know. Oh, and I have a bottle of wine downstairs to make more mulled wine at some point, And I hope to record that and turn that into a video. But until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye. Welcome to Thursday. I woke up this morning with a migraine. Luckily, it's faded. So, you know, I'm not in excruciating pain right now. And hopefully it stays faded. It's because I go to work tonight. Today is my last work day of the week. And I have to work 10 hours. So that's... That would not be fun with a migraine. I don't think I can do it. <sighs> it's nice to have it be my last work day of the week, though. I need some writing time. I really do. It's been an odd week. 
like emotionally, I'm, you know, well within safety parameters, for lack of a better way to put it. I'm, you know, I'm not great, but I'm not bad. Well within, well within norms there, well within norms. So, you know, emotionally and psychologically, I'm doing okay, but physically, I'm just exhausted at this point. You know, between working full-time 10-hour shifts, not getting off work till 1.30 in the morning most of the time, and doing half of the running Lantern, because it is pretty much, Lantern is pretty much split 50-50. We each do roughly half of the work. You know, but even with just doing half of the work, it gets exhausting at times. And this is one of those times where it's exhausting. Especially considering that I really haven't found a good pattern to write with this new job. And writing is recreation for me. I mean, it's part of running Lantern. It's part of my job at Lantern is to write and produce stories. But it's something that I really enjoy. And it's recreation in the sense that Stephen Covey would use it. Recreation. It's filling, not emptying. And I don't have as much time to do that as I'd like, or as I think I need that recreation. And it's starting to wear on me a little bit. So, you know, this being my last work day of the week, tomorrow I am going to be setting up for the live stream. I have to get the table set up, all the hardware side of things. And I also have to transfer all the profiles for OBS over to Solosia's laptop because we will be running it from her laptop tomorrow. It won't be hard, but it's just something I have to do, you know, hopefully first thing on my day off. And then I intend to write. I want to write. I want to sit down and actually work what I consider work. So that's my plan for tomorrow. My plan for tonight is I've got about two hours before I go to work. Uh, I'm going to eat. I'm going to get myself cleaned up for work. I'm going to you know, kind of relax a little bit, hopefully, and just do some stuff around the house, do some cleaning up, minor stuff like that, and that's going to be my day. Then I go to work, and I work until 1.30 in the morning, and I come home and I go to sleep. So you can see how there's not a whole lot of time for writing in that schedule, unfortunately. So I'm going to make a point of being more cognizant of taking writing time. Taking time to produce and create. Because I do suffer a bit when I don't. So that's important to me. And this off week, this feeling not quite right all week, I think it has a lot to do with that. So that's where I need to go. That's what I need to do. And I'm going to do it tomorrow. And hopefully, at least one other day this weekend, I'll do it. So, that's my day. Um, I don't do these at work because I don't think it's right. And when I get home from work, it's 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning. And I'm not going to sit down and do a video. And I'm not going to tell you about my work day. Because that's lame. And my job probably wouldn't be super happy about me talking about what goes on at work on YouTube. So, you know, that stuff stays mine. Anyway, that's why I do these before I go to work, in case anybody was wondering. Because I'm actually not allowed to film in the building I work in. And I don't want to sit outside and do it. I don't want to give away locations or anything like that either. Because this is the internet. So, yeah, that's going to be my day. I'm going to get some shit done. I'm going to eat. I'm going to get myself cleaned up. I'm going to clean up the house a little bit. And then I'm going to go to work. 
and tomorrow hopefully I'll have a little bit more interesting one maybe I'll walk you guys through our actual setup for doing the podcast I think that might be interesting anyway that's going to be my Thursday video and I'll see you guys tomorrow hello it is Friday afternoon I'm off work today, so I'm doing this video a little later, and you'll notice I'm not in the office. I'm surrounded by candles, and I have a weird pattern backdrop behind me. That's because I am currently setting up for Celosia and I to do Punks in the Library Live tonight, and this is where we're doing it from. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's the current process. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. <sighs> My migraine came back yesterday while I was at work, and I ended up having to leave work early, so that kind of sucked. Uh, yeah, I've been cleaning and getting ready for the podcast pretty much all day. And I'm going to take a little bit of time tonight and do some writing as well. That's my plan for the rest of the day. We have all new uh, scenes set up in OBS. I finished that up today. It's all ready to go. Uh, they're pretty cool. I like them. They're a little less severe, a little less... Um, <clears throat> what would be a good term for it? Stark and a little bit more... I got this. This camera is having a hard time with that background auto everything and it's just like blah, 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 blah. so it's kind of distracting me a little bit but yeah the the new scenes and such are a bit less severe and a little bit less um stark and a little bit more fitting of what we're doing on the show so weeks worth of work <laughs> most of my free time for a week and they're ready to go and i hope you guys are going to be there tonight so you can see them in person anyway i don't have a whole lot of time to talk because i still have to clean the kitchen and do a few other things before we're ready to go so i'm going to go take care of that and tomorrow's saturday so there are people outside so I will see you guys tomorrow, and I'll have Celestia with me, and we'll do the weekly wrap-up. So, <clears throat> yeah. Candle, 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 candle. They're just all over the place. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, and hope to see you at the live tonight. Hello. Hello. Normally we do these on Saturday, but today is Sunday. Yesterday was a pretty full day. It was a pretty full day. We went to a concert. Her nephew had a concert here in town. Yep. And we went to that, and we did some stuff around the house. And, yeah. So, so we're doing it today. We're doing it today. Uh, it's been a weird week. Yeah. Uh, before I forget to mention it. We will not be uploading a vlog next week. Is that what we figured out? I think so. Because I screwed up the scheduling of the vlogs and we lost our week lead time and we like having that week lead time. Especially because we both work full time. Yeah, so it's hard to get the editing of. done and everything. <laughs> so there won't be a vlog next week. We might do a short roundup or something similar, but there won't be a full vlog episode. So that we can get ahead of the uh, ahead of the curve again. <clears throat> oh, not a whole lot to say in this one. No. No. New episode of Bedtime Stories is up. We put out. We did another Punks in the Library live. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Yeah, it was a good night. It was a good night, and we're getting all ready for Christmas. We're getting all ready for Christmas, mm -hmm. and we are doing a special live. Yes. On New Year's. New Year's Eve party for people who don't have other plans. 
come join us. We have no idea what we're going to be doing <laughs> on it, but we're going to be there and we're going to be doing something. So, and it's just going to be a live. It's not going to be a podcast. Yep. So it's going to be different. It's just going to be come hang out. Yeah, we might play some games. We might play some video games. We haven't really locked in everything we're going to do, yeah. but we're going to be doing things and we're going to be interacting with all of you wonderful folks. So, yes. yeah, that's going to be a thing, and that's going to be... We don't even have a start date or a start time for that no, yet, No, do we, we don't. I don't think so. so. I think we talked about it briefly. We did, but we never uh, locked it in, really. No, that's true. So, so we'll announce that soon. Yeah, and we may actually do it from the couch rather than... Uh, it depends on what we decide we're going to yeah. be doing. Yeah. It might be easier to do it from the couch. It might be easier to do it from the table or from the office. Haven't decided it yet. Excuse me. There we go. Yarn there we number go. one. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's yeah. what we're up to right now. Uh, I'm going to get some writing done today. We're going to decorate the house a bit for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, as he has already been doing some of that, and I haven't been contributing much because I've been doing everything else. So yes, he has. Uh, I'm going to jump in, and we're going to decorate the tree and all that kind of stuff today. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to be doing all of that. And that's really kind that's of really about it. it. So we're so exciting. Yeah, ain't we just? <laughs> I need to sit down and figure out the vlog schedule, figure out mm -hmm. how it got messed up and how I can fix it. <clears throat> so probably no vlog next week. Definitely a vlog the week after that. Um, we're still doing reels every day. We're still doing shorts every day. And you can still support everything we do on Patreon. Absolutely. And hopefully after today, I'll have some updates about some of my stories. Yes. Hopefully. That's the plan. That's what we're shooting for. Yep. So that stuff will be coming out. I'll probably talk about it in reels and shorts. Yeah. And more information when we do the vlog. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah that's, that's where we are. That's where we're going. That's what's up. It's really about all we got today. Yeah. Got to pay some bills, too. Yeah. Got to get that taken care of today so I don't forget about it during the week. And end up with people going, um, you know you didn't pay your electric bill again. Sorry about that. I'll do it right now. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, Senior Nephew was nice and... The music was pretty good, mm -hmm. and I have no complaints or arguments there. And then we came home and had Calzones and, and yeah. went on a totally different directional music binge. Yeah, totally different directional music binge. A little Tom Waits, a little Metallica, Some, a little uh, Cheap Trick. A little Cheap Trick, yeah. <laughs> we have these nights where we just, like, will suggest music to each other that we know the other person hasn't heard. Because we come from two very different musical backgrounds, yeah. so we kind of educate each other about music. Like, oh, no, you'd, you'd like this song. And then we just go from there. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I would love to get to the bottom of that yawning thing. <laughs> Every time. Every time. And it's only when you're with me on camera or on a mic that you do it. It's so weird. <laughs> I, I don't get it. It's not like I'm so I'm high energy that I make other people yeah. tired. I don't know. I it's it's psychosomatic of some sort, but why I and it's, it's been that way since we started the podcast. Yeah, like, yeah. It's been like that since before there was a lantern audio. Yes. Yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> I'd love to get to the bottom of it. I'd love to understand where that comes from. That's. I it's, feel it's like not there's even, another one coming. So hurry it's up. It's not even like. <laughs> uh, it's not even like frustrating. It's just kind of funny at this point. And I've joked around. There it is. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I've joked around that we should start doing a pool and people can turn it into guess a drinking game. We how many turn it times into a an episode game. or whatever that I will end up yawning. If we turn it into a drinking game, people would die. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> don't die. Please don't, don't, don't die. Don't die. So, yeah, there's. Um, there will be updates on Twitter. I will post um, the Lantern Twitter in the uh, description. description. That's the word. Thank description. you. Description. In the description for this um, on when the next vlog is coming out. We're not really taking a week off. We're kind of just resetting the schedule. Yeah. We're still going to be filming. We're yeah. still going to be doing our normal. 
somehow Some, there was a glitch or or, or a like, miscalculation or yeah. something, and one got released like a week before it was supposed to, yeah. and it threw off the whole schedule. So we're trying to get that straightened out, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be nearly as big an issue. If we weren't both working full time, but it really cuts down the time we have to edit. I swear I'm not that tired even. No. I know. Yeah, I, like, know you're I not. haven't yawned like hardly at all today. And then we sit down in front of the camera and here they and come. And here they come. And but so we're going to Yeah, we're gonna just basically reset the schedule yeah. and we're gonna actually look we have a release schedule online, not a public one. But we have a release schedule online, a calendar that we can yeah. look at. And we're going to look at the calendar and kind of like get it straight so that we know when things go out to patrons mm -hmm. and when things have to be done for that and give ourselves a, a week leeway because that's what we need to be able to get all the editing done with the limited amount of free time we have. Yeah. So that's what we're going to, that's another thing we need to do today. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And... Once again, probably no vlog next week. Maybe a short update video, but no full lantern vlog. And we might do a weekend, a end of the week, like just this portion. Yeah, kind of give you a quick yeah, update. Do a Saturday and just upload it on Saturday. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And patrons, patrons are part of the reason we have to do this. We have to do this gap because patrons actually get it before on Sunday and then it comes out publicly on Wednesday so we need to be we need that lead time because we're I'm we're recording this Sunday which means I have to go from recording this straight upstairs edit the full video yeah and then put it you know get it uploaded onto YouTube and put it up for patrons you know I have that one day turnaround this week and that one day turnaround is not, you know, if I make a mistake, I'm screwed. Mm -hmm. You know, if so, if our internet goes down, yeah, I'm screwed. You know, so we, you know, anything like that, we're in trouble. So we like having that lead time. It just makes everything easier. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today mm -hmm. and the next week. And follow the Lantern Twitter if you want more information about when everything's going to be straightened out. You can and follow the Lantern Instagram oh, yeah, for um, daily reels. Uh, we go back and forth between us. Yep. So there's usually, you know, not just too much of one or the other. No, it's, it's just one a day, short mm -hmm. reels that we do, kind of like what we're doing, what we're up to, or what we're thinking about. And also and, information about the podcast, about the New Year's Eve live stream. Yeah. I will be sharing that all on there as well. Yeah, I will do my best to not overlap and just share the same information the next day. I mean. Yeah. I, I'm For the New Year's Eve live stream, it'll mainly be the week before. Yeah. But I'm yeah, going to yeah. be pretty heavy <clears throat> on, on the socials. And. I worked hard making cute little videos. She did. I worked really I don't, hard making all of the... <laughs> I don't work hard at anything. I just work long. That sounds dirty. Only if you make it. I mean, usually. <laughs> okay. All right. We so, need, this is already like over yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, this is over 10 minutes. So, New Year's Eve live stream. New Year's mm -hmm. Eve party for people who don't have other plans. Resurrected from my old uh, Twitch. So you can join us there. Um, new vlog, probably not coming next week. Probably the week after. New and episodes of Bedtime Stories with Celestia Crane coming out uh, every Sunday, except for the 26th. And there's a reason for that. Because A Christmas Carol has five sections. And so we're doing the first three Sundays and then Christmas Eve and Christmas Day so that you get to experience Scrooge's Christmas Day with Scrooge on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. What so. day is it, lad? Um, it's why Christmas is he Scottish day? in my head? I what don't day know. is it, lad? <laughs> oh, oh, you also told it all. Don't eat me lucky charms. I'm the Scrooge. 
That's not Scottish. I don't even know. That's not <laughs> Irish either. I don't know what that is. But not and, even magically delicious. And all nope, not even close. And also updates on my upcoming stories and the process there, and a lot of big stuff coming next year for us. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're not gonna. We can't really say anything yet, but there's stuff coming. So and if you want to be the first to hear about it, Patreon. It's down there. They get all the goodies first. They get everything first. Everything. So yeah. I think that should be it, because yeah. we're now over 12 minutes. Yeah. All right. We're terrible at saying we're goodbye. We're really bad at this. So, until probably two weeks from now, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.